hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like and comment if you're an oldie thank you for sticking around so today's video you can tell from the, the you can tell the title of today's video from the caption okay life of a special needs dad but first off let me introduce our guest here yeah we have a guest so <laughs> this is my husband mr ikechuku martins ikechuku and this is enzo's daddy yes <laughs> say hi to my subscribers hi guys. <laughs> so <clears throat> on today's video i'll be asking him a lot of questions um concerning his experience or life his life as a special need dad okay um and he will share his experience and drop some ideas and tips in case if you have a special need child how to you know take care of your special need child and things you need to do and all what you get so let's get right into the video so first off um i will just ask him um some personal questions before i'll go to the questions i have here so um Babe, what's life like as a um, what is life as a special needs dad like to you? Well, well I, I, I don't see anything different per se for now, but I think in the beginning there was a little struggle, you know. Okay. There was plenty of struggle, you know. We were always saying, God, why? You know. I remember the first day going to the hospital, rushing him to the hospital, you know, with an ambulance when he when, um my, my wife gave birth, you know, the first day from the theater. She hadn't even seen him. Right. I rushed to the hospital to loot, precisely, you yeah. know, in an ambulance. And in the ambulance, I had so many thoughts, you know, I was like, wow. Supposed to be rejoicing now, but see me rushing to the hospital. You know, you know that was the advice they gave us that we have to rush him so that he doesn't get infected because he had a wound. He had an open um, spinal cord. Spinal cord. Yeah. So they had to do a quick cosmetic surgery so you know, to it correct up. it and yes. close it up. You know, it wasn't a corrective surgery per se, but at least to close it up so he doesn't get infected, infected. You know, so. We rushed to the ambulance. I was crying, was shedding tears. I was like, God, why? You know, it's my first issue, our first child. Why, why, why? That was just what I was asking. But, you know, after some time, you know, I got to love him the way he is. And I even forgot he was a special need child. Even till now, I don't even see him as a special need child anymore. So. Um, uh, so far, I just give thanks to God, you know, for giving us the strength to pull through. And, you know, it's not been an easy journey, but at all, we knew. But man, man. <laughs> okay, thank you. So you guys have heard it, and um, it, it, he actually said basically everything I said in um my first video as a special needs mom. I will try to put the link in the description box for those of you that have not watched that one life of a special needs mom okay so i have some questions here to ask him and um uh i hope these questions and answer will actually help you in case you are struggling and um, you have a special need child do not give up hang in there you're a caregiver you're a caregiver god gave you that child to care for him or her it wasn't a mistake trust me and god didn't give you a special need child because of your sins or anything not at all god knew you can do it i know in your own mind you are telling yourself now nah, i can't do this i can't handle it but <clears throat> God gave you that child to care for him or her. I know in your heart and in your mind, you might be saying you can't do it, you can't do it. But the truth is that God created each and every one of us. He sees our heart. So he knows that you can do it. He knew you can do it. That was why he gave you that child. So hang in there. You are doing, you are doing a great job, mom and dad. So that's it. So the first question says, um, tell me how you discovered your child had a disability. Well, um, unfortunately, I'll say unfortunately because 
I believe we were supposed to have found out early earlier than that. I right. think it was about eight months. Yeah, eight months, a few weeks before yeah. my delivery. So, right. I think that was really late to discover such. And right. I don't know who to blame. Well, I won't start blaming anybody, but deep inside my heart, I know that there are some people that should take the blame. Blames, you know? right. But that's bygone. You understand, so. so it was at eight months, right? Eight months, yeah. okay, good. He's actually right. We discovered eight months when I was eight months pregnant. He actually suggested I go do my scan in another um scan place. And on getting there, uh, they told me that my baby had an issue that we needed to see a doctor with the scan result. So it was pretty late, trust me. I'm sure if we had actually detected it earlier on. The story would have been different but as well god knows the best that's all i can say okay so the next question says um what things have you found to enjoy about having a child with special needs wow i wish we could have been um, doing this video with you right outside, yeah. <laughs> you understand such a sweet boy <laughs> you understand um what, what i'm talking about you understand how i feel about him being around as in i would say I don't want to, you know, discriminate between my children, but I don't know. I have a special place. He has a special, special place, place in, in our heart, hearts, you know? right? True, so, true. Um, I don't know whether it's because of his condition or whether his personality. His personality because the guy is just too. <laughs> just too don't worry. Too I'm sure man. we'll make a video with him one of so, these days, so you guys get to see him like in his full flesh and you yeah. know all that stuff. Okay. Um, the next question says. What has God taught you through your child with special needs? Well, God has taught me so many things. And one thing God has taught me is to, well, to take things the way it is and, you know, just, I don't know, what would I say? Patience. Exactly, that's the key word. Um, in my own way, in my own terms, I would say patience, actually. And, you know, um, and accepting my faith. Yeah. Certain things the way it is. It is, exactly. Regardless of, you know, mm. this situation. And don't worry, be happy. Simple, yeah. I'm telling you. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> okay. So, um, the next question says, what are the challenges you face as a parent to a child with special needs? Do you really face well, challenges? Well, I think the challenges we face is just the normal, you know, taking care of him which we have people to help us yes do, you understand? But, like i said in my previous video yes we have well, people helping us actually yeah but sometimes you know taking him out right you know you have to you know, he doesn't walk so you can understand how stressful it can be you know right from one place to another true and all that basically and he doesn't communicate so Sometimes he, you don't even know don't what know he wants or his what feelings. He wants, yes. or sometimes he just cries and you can't tell what, what you can't really tell him. what was wrong with him. But right. you just keep guessing, 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 guessing. Ah, he might his diapers might be full. This he might be hungry. Might he might be, hungry. be thirsty. The heat might be too much. You know, right? You know, so well, apart from that, I just well, I don't bother myself. I just think I'm happy. I'm happy with him. So to me. We don't. I don't see it as challenges. To me, it's normal. Yeah. I won't even call it a challenge or anything. To me, it's normal, and that's on period. Okay. So the next question says, um, "Do you ever feel overwhelmed?" I'm overwhelmed with the whole. Yes. Um, no, I don't. No. No. Me too. I don't. To be frank with you, for once, no. I've never been overwhelmed never. because. God has actually made made a way for us, like yeah. bringing people to help us. Or so. the only time me as a I mom. felt a little bit overwhelmed was at the beginning, the starting stage, initial stage, the initial yeah. stage when I right. was in the hospital. We're always going up and down. And ah, when well, Luth was our second home. Yeah, you know, so, oh my and, goodness, it wasn't Luth, funny. You know, you have to, the payment point might be. Yeah, that place will be there. Ah, you man. know, you might have to this. walk like five kilometers. <laughs> Then you come back, then they tell you the pharmacy is there, you go down to the pharmacy, you come back, you know, uh, and then the theater, you, all the surgeries yes. and all that, always waiting outside the theater, you know, and uh, those thoughts running to, through my head when he's in the theater, like, is he going to make it? No, yeah. Will he come out? 
and we're still going to go for decide to leave us. You know? Anyways, so. I guess all odds we give God thanks that He's still living. God alone is our source of strength and that of Enzo. Yeah. That's all I can say. For a reason. I'm telling you, you know. So the next question says, What are your child's strengths? What does he enjoy doing? Ah. Zozo. I bet we call him he Zozo. Likes biting. <laughs> Yeah, just biting me. I think that's oh what the uh, way of expressing his love. <laughs> Anyways, to me, what I'll say Enzo enjoys doing is sleeping. Mm. He enjoys to sleep. He enjoys to lie down. You know, that kind yeah. That's comfort like, place for him. He knows the time to sleep and the time to wake. Yeah, he enjoys to sleep. Like, he enjoys to, you know, lay down. Once you lay him on the bed, it feels like as if you've done everything. Like, you know, every good thing you can do for someone. That's how, you know, that's basically what I'll say. He enjoys a lot. And again, when you come close to him, you give him a kiss, you know, those kind of things. Play with him. He loves things. Like, he enjoys them, you know. So that's it, basically. Um, the next question says, What kind of struggles does your child? Have because of his disability. Well, there's no one struggles like you know. Um, he can't stand. He can't, can't walk. walk. You know, at this age, he's four years old now. Yes. He should be walking, talking. He doesn't talk. He doesn't communicate. So, yeah. you know, he still blabs like a, um, a baby, like a toddler. Mm. You know, so. Um, I think basically there's a, and he can't tell you when he wants to go to use the toilet, mm, yes. you know. When he's hungry, those yeah, are his struggles hungry, actually. He communicate, Major. So, yeah. Okay, so the next question says, how does having a child with, with a disability affect your other children? Oh, it doesn't affect them. No way. Um, zero. Zero. Nah. I think they, uh, I don't know, I think they see him as, as a baby. Yeah, right? they're like, exactly. As a baby, you know, the way they treat him, you know, he doesn't walk, True. he doesn't talk. You uh, know? The way they pet when he cries. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. So sorry, they're hugging, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> True. You know, like, they actually love yeah. him, they actually see him as uh, their baby brother or something, mm. and they, they don't actually know that he is a, he's their older one, probably because they are still uh, yeah, tender. Yeah. With time, as they grow, I'm sure they will understand. Mm. Right. I'm sure one day you hear things like, Daddy, Mommy, mm. why is Enzo not working now? Yes, now they've not started asking us questions. Why is he not talking? Enzo, get up now. Right. Enzo, let's play. You yes. know, all these kind of things, but. Right. Yeah. It's well. So, um, the next question says, um what progress have you seen in your child since his initial diagnosis well i would say um his awareness True. has increased True. Know, he's aware very much aware of his environment now like yes. before, unlike before you know and um, his sight is better right his Unlike sight, before, yeah, and his movement, his body, body movement, movement. Yeah. he's very agile now, very yeah, active. His upper God, body is very strong, <laughs> strong now. His so. trunk muscles are very yeah, strong because I can remember strong, that yeah. first three years. Yeah. His trunk muscles were not really that strong, but now he will see to be, like, <laughs> you know, those active. Ah, I'll be like, ah, this boy, you know, but they are not too much, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so. Well, he's doing well so far, so good. We can say he's actually doing well, you know from um the time we had him till now he's actually doing well i, I would say he's actually meeting some milestones yeah you get and i'm sure with time he will actually get there so that's it basically so the next question says um what treatments or therapies have been successful for your child mm. which, 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 the physio has been well um, I would say it's about 30%, mm -hmm. over 100. Mm -hmm. How about occupational yeah. therapy? Yeah, that, I think that one has worked more. So, okay. Yeah. It's more aware and... Speech therapy, in Speech therapy... Uh, I don't know, he makes sounds. Sounds, yeah, unlike yeah, before. Unlike before, yeah. So. Yeah, there was a day I heard him say, Mama, Mama. I mama. came back and my husband told me he said, Mama, I was... <laughs> Oh my god, my emotions that day, God. So, um, well, 
it's a slow, it's a slow um, pro, um, process. So. Yes. It's actually a long term thing. Yeah. It's not like we are expecting anything from him now. See, he can do anything at any time. We are okay. We are not pushing him. We are not rushing him. You know, all the delayed milestone, by the special grace of God, we know he's going to actually reach them. He will meet them. You know, so basically, we are taking it one step at a time. Okay. So, um,. The last question is, um, what concerns do you have for your child's future? Hmm, this is a very tricky well, question. My concern mostly is, uh, you know, you know, the society we live in, uh, right? Discrimination, you know. True. You know, um, yeah, people don't really um, value children, value children special with needs. special in this needs. country, and. That's why you have um, special schools where they take them to, you know. Exactly. Somehow, you know, separating them from the normal mm -hmm. kids, kids because of cases like this. And um, I think the teaching is different, too, so you don't even expect them to be in the same. Yeah. Level, right? Yeah. So my major concern is, you know, that discrimination How uh, will they and you know, um, how he will cope. Even how we are going to cope with him, with when, him he, when he's older. When he's older, yes. You know, carrying him around, he'll be heavier. He doesn't walk. Well, I pray that by then, at least. Something will happen. Exactly. Yeah, because um, actually, I see him walk in my dreams. Yes, we've had that uh, dream a so, couple of times so where many he walks. Times I've seen Even him, my mom. I've seen him walk and play, you know, when I wake up and I was like, wow. I still have hope that one day something good. Ah, uh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, Okay, the truth is that um, so at some point I wasn't thinking or I, I wasn't concerned about what his future holds in that aspect of how we are going to take care of him. Because I always believe in one thing God that gave him to us will always make a way for us. That's the truth. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I have so much faith that he can always do something. The truth is that he can actually give us. Um, some, what we cannot carry like I know he's not going to be a body one way or the other there will be something there will be a way out like I literally do not know how it's going to happen but I know it's going to happen Definitely. you get so I don't even worry in that aspect the only worry I have is will the society accept him you know how will life be like when he's grown when we want to go out you know one thing with having children with special needs in this country is the masses are our problem first off they do not accept children with special needs wholeheartedly like when you take them out they keep staring like what is wrong with this child why is he not working this that, that you know they start murmuring and asking their self question but the truth is that i do not care and that's on period i do not care well, funny, if, funny enough anytime we go out with enzo it's, he's different people always love him love man. him yes you know, always want to come and touch him know touch what's him wrong with him you know him, he's a very yeah. lovable child trust me when you meet him in person you will love him you get so but the reason why i made that statement is because um other moms with special needs they've told me their experiences on how people tend yeah, to look at their children and all easy. that stuff it's not it's not really easy for the moms sometimes i don't blame them when they complain and, because even in the hospital when we were in loot mm. there's this woman that was even contemplating on you know killing her, killing child. her child i remember she was like ah. and now she's tired i was all this that ah, ah. Now she has so many children, children. four children. Yeah. And this one wants to come and give her stress. That what kind of thing is it? Now it doesn't that even the husband self has abandoned them. Not abandoned everyone them. can actually cope and with this. It's like where did you get that child from? That child is not my child. You know, all this kind of statement. So the woman was frustrated and you know, it got to a point that she wanted to we now have to start talking to her, you know. You know, um, advising her, it's not the end of the world, blah, blah, blah. These children have their purpose in life, you know. It might be a blessing to you. You never can tell, so. Uh, I'm it. becoming emotional right now, mm -hmm. seriously. Well, I want to use this medium to thank my husband. He's actually been a great dad and a supportive husband. Yeah, Papa I really Enzo. want to use. Papa Enzo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to use this medium to say thank you, you know. 
for sticking by me all through the time we were going through this together for not giving up on me or enzo for not leaving us behind for not you know feeling tired or worn out because of the hospital stress and all that you are such a wonderful dad and thank you for for accepting enzo as your own wow. and i promise you that enzo is going to make you proud someday in the future amen all right thank you guys we've come to the end of today's video and please do not forget to like subscribe and comment down below please 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 we are going to be having more video and talks with, about enzo and children with special need in general so if you want to see more of this video please hit the subscribe button i beg you share this video it can actually meet somebody's needs actually for those struggling with their special need children you don't know what this video is going to inspire okay we are special needs parents in fact i don't even say that special needs parents because we are on, on another level our jaye you know we don't we did not allow our our um our baby's issue to actually get to us i've told them that before in the previous video that we went out we did things you know we weren't for one day we, we were not actually shielded like we didn't you know put ourselves yeah, but, in but a, the beginning is always tough yeah. it's tough if you can, truth try and, you know right it, yeah. right right all right guys um i'll see you guys until the next one and then bye please subscribe subscribe edge of pico thank you subscribe, subscribe. yeah <laughs>